This is one of the reasons this formation is so glitchy. Because these receivers are so close together and they run their routes so close together, you're going to see how essentially uh, A.J. Brown here is going to set a huge pick on both defenders. So the second Julio Jones makes his break, he's essentially uncovered because A.J. Brown's streak is running right over both defenders. And I mean, I could have threw it to A.J. Brown too because he basically crossed them up. I mean, both these receivers are going to be wide open for hellacious touchdowns. And then you're going to see you're going to have some pretty big runs. As you can see here once again, he just doesn't, the cornerback just doesn't react. And we're just getting some very explosive run plays. <laughs> For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the man. She's as always a little under the weather today. I don't know if you guys can hear my voice, but that's not, not going to see me on video today because I am sick. But I got to keep pumping out the content. Got to keep pumping out the video. And today's video is very special because today I'm going to be doing something specifically for one of my Patreons. If you guys don't know, on my Patreon, you could sign up for a tier. You basically choose uh, what topic of a video I do. And right now, that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing the Titans because my uh, Patreon member needed a scheme out of the Titans and I found a very good one out of these single back doubles Why off. This formation, I think I might have touched on this out of the Niners or out of a different playbook, uh, but ultimately this formation here has a really great run scheme and also has some really good pass plays. I'll show you guys my four play setup. This is how I would run this offense. There's only one pass play because you really only need one pass play and that's going to be the PA corner post. This pass play here, like I said, it's a one play touchdown on every single defense in the game. As far as the run plays go, they've got a terrific run play scheme. This is one of the better uh, combinations of run plays that I've found in the game uh it's very similar to one that i used out of the niners earlier in the year and i think it's also very similar to one that i used out of the saints but the saints didn't have the old one trap i love the old one trap that's going to be one of the better run plays in the game uh, out of this formation the stretch is also a very good uh run play this is obviously an outside run uh, i'm going to do some things to get that a uh, unique look and the last one's going to be the jet sweep now the jet sweep is going to be a very specific purpose but as we go into the play here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to just going to pick the 0-1 trap. So let's go ahead and pick that. On the defensive side, I, I just picked the Colts because I typically try to pick, um, you know, teams that have, uh, you know, divisional rivals. But we're just going to go random nickel. So let's go ahead and let's pick that because we are in a three wide receiver set. Now, the setup for this is really simple. You have really only two run plays that are going to be like the main focus point uh, of your offense. Uh, and that's going to be the stretch and the trap. Now, the trap's going to be your inside run. The stretch is going to be your outside run. It's really that simple. You're going to want to make one adjustment whenever you do these plays. And it's going to help with the pass plays and the run plays. All you're really going to do is motion in this receiver every single time. Like I said, that's more critical when it comes to the uh, pass play than the run play. But you can see even on a play like this, it brings the cornerback in. So if I'm in a stretch because this here is, looks like a cover three, you got a box safety. I don't really want to run into that with an 0-1 trap. All I have to do is flip the play. I find that flipping the play against this particular, when it comes to this run play, is going to be the, the look pretty much nine times out of ten. Uh, and all I have, really have to do is motion this guy and you see the cornerback comes in. It's going to make it a lot easier to get outside. And that defensive tackles, or the defensive ends out pretty far. Uh, that might be the only issue, but 77 should be able to get out there and should be able to break me to this edge. As you can see right there, it gets right in front of that and boom, we have nothing but space out here to the outside. I get about 15 yards on the first carry without really breaking the sweat. So as far as the stretch run goes, I mean, this is pretty simple. I can run it strong side. I can run it to the tight end side just as long as there's not a box defender outside of it like there is here. You can see there's a safety outside, so that makes no sense. Like I said, nine times out of ten, you're definitely going to be running it to the uh, to the receiver side. I find you're going to get better blocking. You're just going to get better everything. Uh, and then, you know, flip the play with the right stick to the left, motion in that receiver. Now you can see it gives you more room to get to the outside faster. And boom, you can see here we're getting, I mean, that block just totally failed. But you can see the block was setting up perfectly i could have had a really good run there and that's pretty much the look the stretch is going to be the easiest to run like i said i'm going to flip it nine times out of ten there's not going to be a lot of times where i run to the tight end side make that motion brings that corner back in makes it that much easier to get outside of it and boom we're gonna have another big run here like i said this is going to be very easy you can see there the defensive end did get outside that's the only thing that can really cause this play problems is if that defensive end gets outside and kind of forces you uh, you know inside of the defensive end if it's spread wide enough That's the only thing that really stop this stretch run now seeing as the halfback stretch is such a good play Your opponent's probably going to try to start spreading their defense to try to stop this outside run You already saw how this defensive end can really get in the way of this run play and kind of force your inside Which is going to be a win for the defense So if they start spreading their defensive alignment the best counter for that is going to be the Owen trap This is a really good inside run play. It's really good against uh, spread defenses like this uh, This is going to be one play where though 
where you don't necessarily want to make this motion because you can see it brings that cornerback in closer to the play. If he just goes straight for the running back, he can make a tackle here. So this is going to be a play where you can do that if you want to keep it uniform, but in reality, it's best just to hurry up and run the ball because your opponent won't have any time to set up the defense. And you can see how you can have some success. And that first one wasn't too great. We'll go ahead and do that again. But anytime you have a big gap over the middle, especially, this should have a lot of success. This is also somewhere I am running into Darius Leonard. So maybe that's got something to do with it. But you can see right there, we get a huge hole. We're getting an easy 15 yards once again. So at any point in time, you have a spread defensive look like this. Uh, it's really up to you whether you want to try to get outside of it or just basically hit the 0-1 trap. And the 0-1 trap is a very good run play you can see. There's nothing up the middle and we're getting close to 15 yards just about every time we run it. So those are the main two run plays, but I do have some good options when it comes to the jet sweep because the jet sweep has some fakes in here. Uh, the zone fake jet would probably be the best to play off of the actual jet sweep. Obviously, you can run it around the edge with the receiver or you can give it you know, up the middle with the running back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my autos. But let's go and let's choose the jet sweep. The jet sweep's gonna be against very specific looks. Typically, jet sweeps are best against man coverages. So anytime you see a man coverage like man cover two, which is what I'm gonna pick here, this is gonna be best. The reason this works so well against man coverages is because number one, the, the cornerback doesn't follow. It's a designed run play. And for whatever reason, the cornerback doesn't follow like he does in a pass play. It's pretty much a glitch, to be honest with you so at any point in time you see your opponents in a lot of man coverages you can easily switch over to this run play you'll get an advantage right away and you can see even this outside cornerback here was following back the entire way before before the play uh, before he even noticed the play was up his back as you can see right here in the replay system number one like i said the cornerback doesn't follow he's completely out of position and any pass play when you make this motion the cornerback will follow because that's his man but for here for whatever reason he doesn't so the second that happens you immediately have an advantage you immediately have a one-man advantage then you can see when it comes to man coverage on defense this guy here is following this guy back to a point a pretty absurd point i mean he follows a 15 yards down the field giving me um you know all this space out side and this is pretty much a glitch to be honest with you just make sure you have your fastest receiver here that's pretty much the only thing i could say uh and then you can see you're gonna have some pretty big runs as you can see here once again he just doesn't the cornerback just doesn't react and we're just getting some very explosive run plays but like i said it only really works that way against man coverage so make sure you don't use it against man and then last but not least like i said we do have a good counter with that which is the zone fake jet let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side, which can continue with random. Now, when it comes to the zone fake J, it's really just going to be if your user starts shifting or starts chasing away. You know, if he sees the motion and he sprints out to cut off that motion, that's going to be your perfect opportunity to basically just hit him with this inside run. One of the better things about it is it goes in the opposite direction, so that's a huge benefit, obviously. But ultimately, um, this is something that, you know, this is just if you notice your opponent is using well and cutting off that, that fake jet. But this is really only a play if your opponent is just using well and cutting off that fake jet. This is not something that's even really supposed to have a ton of success against the computer. But once again, it's going to be best against spread defenses, and it's going to be best going in the opposite direction. As you can see, if, the, if my opponent tries to cut that off, this is going to be something where you want to basically just take it to the left as much as possible and get as much space as possible. Now, there are a couple of good uh, regular pass plays, a very good cover two play out of the four verticals. So let's go and pick that on defense. We'll continue with the cover two. This is pretty much only a cover cover two play it doesn't need any adjustments but it's a cover two play and you have to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field uh, essentially that b route there will get past the uh the cornerback and typically have a shot at a one play touchdown as you can see right there i mean that's not necessarily what i expected the reason this play works is number one you just have a lot of space to the sideline the safety cannot cover all this space and this particular route gets around the cornerback rather than trying to run through it you can see right here it gets around the press gets around the jam that's why this play works eventually the cover two cornerbacks only go so far they will stop even if there's nothing underneath drawing it and you can see i just had the bullet and pass lead outside i actually didn't get a very good pass lead I actually bullet and pass led up which still worked out as you can see the safety is late to get over but ultimately i typically try to pass lead to the boundary i don't necessarily expect a one play touchdown of this i just kind of expect a big play as you can see right here once again uh you know the tight end is the reason this play works the the safety reacts to the tight end inside and you can see this cover to uh cornerback just is nowhere near the ball but today i'm focusing on just one pass play that can home run every single defense in the game and that's the pa corner post other than that let's go and let's pick uh the pa corner post and let's start off with cover two we're gonna go ahead we're gonna switch out to normal cover two so let's go with tampa two now when it comes to cover two you're gonna want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field that's pretty typical I said in the first video, you're going to want to make this motion every single time in the run plays because it really helps out with the pass plays. So against cover two, I'm going to make that motion. And 
nine times out of ten against most coverages, I'm going to put the, the Y route in a slant, uh, although that can change. On this particular play against cover two zone, I'm just going to put the A route here on a pass block, and I'll put the B route here on an out route and a smart route at about 10 yards. This is going to be the look. This is what's going to pull these safeties apart to the point where I can essentially just beat this uh, this deep safety on the left right up the middle here, even though I don't really have the fastest receivers, uh, which is going to be something that I might have to deal with throughout this video. But you can see it's an easy one-play touchdown. So if we watch the replay, this is really the guy that's getting abused here, and it's all about the 10-yard out. For whatever reason, when it comes to 10 yard outs it really if there's nothing else pulling him in this area it'll essentially stress this guy out i think the the slant might also be part of it but when you look how far apart these cover two safeties are that's about 20 to 30 yards of separation and there's also a depth issue because this guy's not dropping back as fast as this guy's sprinting behind him so you can see if you have a faster receiver than i have i mean aj brown's good but he's only 91 speed this is going to be a very easy one play touchdown against any cover two so we're going to do that again so we should have plenty of blocking with the tight end. I want to pass block. I can double team him if I want to, but I don't really have to do too much. I'm bullet pass leading away from the safety. That's pretty much it. And you can see the safety's just split to a point where neither one of them can make a play. So that was super glitchy against cover two, but it's also super glitchy against cover three. So let's go and let's pick that. So we're going to mostly set this play up the exact same way we did the cover two play. We're going to motion this guy in. Only this time we're going to put the wire out on a streak because we need that cornerback to get pulled back. On the other side, though, we're going to do the exact same thing with the B route. We're going to put him on a 10-yard out route, essentially a 5-yard out route, then smart route at 10 yards. Uh, and then we're going to put the A route. We have our choice. We could either put the A route on a pass block, which is kind of what we did on the first play. So I guess we'll keep with that uh, because this will ultimately work with the running back. The, catch, the check and release will have the same success. And you can see, once again, there's huge separation, even though I don't really have a super fast receiver based off of this route concept. So last time, we really stretched apart the two safeties. This time, we're going to stretch apart the cornerback in the middle high safety you can see for whatever reason this route concept really makes that cornerback number one very indecisive but number two he comes down on that route because he's not expecting to have to cover this deep crosser coming across the middle here and at this point I mean, he's already gone i could bullet and pass lead at any point in time just pass lead away from the safety who's also reacting to the streak which is one of the reasons the streak is so important so you can see it's essentially the exact same setup we're getting the essentially the exact same result where these deep zone covers are just spread to about 30 yards apart Part. So we're going to do that again. Like I said, exact same setup. The only difference is I'm putting the wire out on the street this time. That's pretty much it. It's the exact same setup otherwise. Against cover two, you put them on slant. Against cover three, you put them on the street. It's really that easy. And you're going to see how we're going to get the exact same type of separation. Bullet pass. Look at that. I mean, he's got about 10 yards of separation from that cornerback, and the safety's in no position to make a play. And I don't even really have fast receivers right now. So we're going to go. We're going to finish up with our zone coverages. Let's go and let's go with cover four. Uh, which is um, a cover four drop. We'll do cover four match in a second. Now, this setup is very different, and the receiver that I'm going to throw to is different, but the motion's the same. We're going to motion this guy across. This time, though, we're going to the Y route. We're going to hit the X route on a streak. We're going to block our tight end, and we're going to put the B route here on a drag. That's all we have to do. Uh, but like I said, we're going after a different receiver. I've shown this in videos in the past. The Y route here is a cover four one play touchdown. For whatever reason, it makes the safeties drop back, but not the cornerback, which is why this play is going to work. Now, there, you can see timing is a little bit of an issue because Julio actually slowed down. If I don't throw that ball, he will stop. Go and we'll watch the replay when it comes to Julio here. Like I said, it's a deep crossing route, but for some reason, he starts to stop around here. So luckily, I bullet and pass led that ball on time. I mean, I could easily have thrown it at any point in time. As you can see, the cornerback doesn't drop. The cornerback stays down. For whatever reason, he doesn't turn around until Julio is behind him, which obviously is not a very good way to play defense. If you guys can't tell, when I motion these guys together, these routes, when they're separate, they look pretty similar, but when they're right next to each other, you can tell they're different. The X route will not get this play done. You have to throw this to the Y route against cover four, so just keep that in mind. Whether you can read the defense or your opponent's been running a lot of cover four, um, you have to basically set this up for this particular play. But this play has two different routes that are home runs against a lot of different defenses, which is nice. Uh, here we go once again. Gonna basically get that ball out before Julio starts to fade. And you can see that's in a very easy one play touchdown against cover four. So we'll continue with cover four, only this time we'll go cover four palms, cover four quarters, or essentially the same thing. Cover four match. When it comes to cover four, you don't really have to make any adjustments with the exception of the B route. Put them on a 10 yard out route one more time. And the Y route and the X route are both pretty much gonna have success. There are some setups that you can do uh, because cover four is just not a very good deep passing defense. There are some setups you can do to make this even easier, but that's pretty much the bare minimum. 
Other than that, I mean, you can motion this guy in. You can do the exact same setup as the other cover four with the exception of the B route. You can put the B route on a 10 yard out route. Basically cover four quarters, the four deep safeties will cover any route in their area over 10 yards. So you have to create a 10 yard route for this outside cornerback to run. And then you can see right here, I mean, he kind of really just gets right past that. Although he did get some help there. So it's really up to you. Like I said, the, the, the play by itself will have success. I mean, you can just put the, the B route here on a 10 yard comeback. Uh, it doesn't really matter. These these two routes, the X route and the Y route, will both get past cover four quarters because they're essentially uh, you know deep routes that they don't cover very well. So we went through all the zone coverages, but we haven't really hit on any man coverages. So let's go and let's go to man cover two. Man cover two is going to be the exact same setup. The only difference is I'll leave the tight end doing what he's doing because that's a really good man beater. But ultimately, you can do the exact same setup where you do the 10 yard out route and the B route, put the uh, the Y route here on, actually I'm gonna get it mixed up, put the uh, yeah put the Y route here on a streak, and this is pretty much gonna be the exact same. The running back, um, you really need the running back or the tight end doing something in the direction of the B route. Uh, but I don't, honestly, you can probably block the running back as well. That's not really important at all. And you'll see how that safety will still fade because he's really just reacting to the only route in his area, which is the, um, you know, the, the 10 yard out route. So you can see, very easy one play touchdown against any coach Cover two, like I said. So all you really need is to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field. That's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much just how Madden is with every one play touchdown, to be honest with you. But in this play specifically, I can, like I said, I can leave that tight end. If I want that extra, um, you know, I can block the running back. He's not doing anything. But if I want that extra route, because this is a very good man being route, even if you don't have a very good tight end, like he's being covered by Darius Leonard, but he still can beat that because it's a good route. A better tight end would easily beat that even better. So any man coverage, that tight end is going to be good. Uh, but like I said, you don't have to, you can block that tight end. I find it's probably better to, to block him than have him on that route. But if you're going against man, it's definitely a good check down just to leave him uh, doing what he's doing. And then, like I said, this X route here is going to have a lot of success with all there. I definitely was running into issue with a little bit more pressure because I didn't take away, I didn't block that tight end. So it's really up to you. So to me, it's definitely better to block that tight end, even slide your protection in that direction because I'm going to want to roll out. Um, in that direction as you can see here the Titans were not really blocking anybody anyway but you can see it's uh, I mean this is just a very easy play and if I'm going for it I won't play touchdown the extra blocking is more important next up we're going to show cover one man this is another play where we're going to highlight the Y route the Y route is a better man beater than the X route the X route here I'm going to motion him in again put him on a streak uh, that's pretty much it I don't do anything else the B route though got to put him on a drag or a slant or just something short you don't want that streak pulling that um, you know that cornerback back into the play but ultimately, anything that beats man, we put them on a comeback. It's a good, uh, a good route for, against man. Uh, if you just want to keep it consistent, though, you can keep with the out route. And now you can see here once again, we got that uh, that man beater here with Julio, just barely getting past. But ultimately, a faster receiver is going to have much more success. Because these receivers are so close to one another, that's one of the reasons this will have a lot of success against man is because a lot of times these guys will really get bumped into one another. So that's something to pay attention to. So basically on this next play, like I said, I give myself a slant, a drag, whatever. It doesn't really matter what the B route's on. I just can't have them on a streak. So this is pretty much going to be the look as the blocking doesn't look like it's going to hold up once again. But you can see Julio gets huge separation that time. And it could have been because of the uh, the two receivers bumping each other's cornerbacks off this is one of the reasons this formation is so glitchy because these receivers are so close together and they run their route so close together you're going to see how essentially uh, aj brown here is going to set a huge pick on both defenders so the second julio jones makes his break he's essentially uncovered because aj brown's streak is running right over both defenders and i mean i could have threw it to aj brown too because he basically crossed them up i mean both these receivers are going to be wide open for hellacious touchdowns so let's go and let's do that again i mean if if aj brown has that same success. I mean, I could easily throw it to AJ Brown if he if he gets picked off like that. As you can see right here, he does, and I could easily bullet and pass lead to the other receiver. So against man coverage, it's especially difficult because the receivers are so close together. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more from this offense, I got a full breakdown. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.